quarter number three. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. He's going. Gun is going despite these massive early season missteps. He just got a kick return touchdown. 94 yards of turn. Henry Gun. Proving that the lead of these Steelers are he deserves to be with them. And you've used the phrase with me before pressing the kicking game. What exactly does that mean? Because they did it there. It means focusing on it, all aspects of it, because it's the third part of the game. Offense, defense, special teams. If you press the kicking game, create an advantage, make a big play, it often leads to victory. Elliott good with a PAT, and that will extend this big lead. So he took that one at the six, returned it all the way to the end zone. An electric return it was, 94 yards to the house. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. they got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop Let's that go. one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll keep it on the ground. Green. It's a gain of four, but they're still looking up here at a tough third and 11. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Hurry up, here we go. He'll drop to throw. And a Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, they're all, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And I think it's safe to say we know who the game ball is probably going to after this one. Without a doubt, they're going to stand up in the middle of the locker room after the game, and the head coach is going to say, great performance, terrific game ball. Right here, going to present it to him. And if he's smart, he'll accept the game ball, then say, dinner on me for the offensive line at the best steakhouse in town. Make sure those guys are taken care of. Those O-linemen have helped him to four touchdown runs. Here we go! And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Pass the 20. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. 38 yards on the scamper there. I'm still an old school football guy, and anytime you see a big time running play, <laughs> that fires me up. And if I'm on offense right now, in the position they're in now, inside the 10 yard line, I think after the way they've run it, they've set themselves up for a good play action pass opportunity right here. He'll look to throw. His pass caught at the four. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. They'll drop the throw, and he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first, and it's third down now. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? Here and here's now. the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. In for the score. And this Steelers offense is running away with this one. You know, in golf, they often talk about playing the course and not worrying about what the other players are doing, what their scores are. That's essentially what we're seeing from this offense. They're just having fun and doing what they feel like doing today. Elliott 
it now to add the extra point. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. So that drive, four plays, and it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Elliott now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Back to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And that is incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. That's pulled in at the 32. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. Now let's go! And they'll run it here. And some room to roam now. Whoosh! And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to, but they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Set. Now a handoff looking right. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. And they'll go on the ground. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A great effort there. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers offense, they continue to pour it on. And that rushing touchdown is fourth. Puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Elliott now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. They'll run on first down. Green. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of two as time has run out on this third quarter of play. And this is a blowout so far. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now let's go! Blue Landy! Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And yeah, that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Thanks, hard. Second interception. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Green 39! Green 39! They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. There's throw caught at about the five. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has... And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. As his guys are in for six, and this Steelers offense is running away with this one. So another score there often... get an extra look that's what the technology is for and this touchdown will count Elliott good with a PAT and that will extend this big lead Elliott now to kick this one away with it on the return is Logan and he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen right, soon. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle, it's complete. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Back to throw now on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does 
is involved in the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Looking sideline incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about Hurry spreading up, things out, Green, putting 39. it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. And incomplete on the deep ball. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. That one looks like he'll throw here. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 30 yards there. And they just had another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same way nowadays. It's the age-old argument. Then you could say on the other side, if you're going to get angry about it, stop it, right? Go ahead and stop me. And I think a lot of the times they just look at it like, let's just play the game. And however it turns out, it turns out. That throw good for four. It's second down. They'll look to throw here. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face Personal mask. Foul. Face mask. Defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. They go play action here on first down. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Here we go now. Three and 19. Three and 19. They'll look to throw again. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact and forcing the incompletion. Yeah, Coach Ford would have loved that play. Hey, hey, hey. We got three. We got three. three. They'll look to throw on third and goal. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone can stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that's leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. Elliott now to kick this one away. With it on the return is Logan. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. 
So, Charles, are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's fitting is they ended the game on the field, that defensive unit on the field. What an exclamation mark. And probably felt like they could go another 60 minutes without anyone putting points on the board against them. That's the confidence you gain throughout when you're pitching a shutout. And they're going to leave the stadium feeling like they're all 10 feet tall. So for the Steelers, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Seattle, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 through seven games. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Arizona Cardinals. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. I love how in just three games, Hunter DeCiso's already thrown more passing yardage. He's just less accurate. It's pretty interesting. Thanks, Pollard, with the NFC, or AFC, sorry, Defensive Player of the Week. Last week, it was the week of the Jets. Eric Berry showing why he's one of the best middle linebackers, if not the best middle linebacker in the NFL right now. And Filipovic put on a show. Rematch of the AFC Championship game from last year.
Thank <laughs> you.